everyone, this is Savi. Welcome back to my channel. So I've picked out a bunch of questions from my comment section that I get asked very frequently about the Entrack Studio app and I'm going to answer them all for you today in this video. So let's get straight into it. All right, so the first question is by Arpita. She asks, how to make covers? Will you be able to make a separate video for it? Um, I've already made a separate video on this. Uh, in fact, I've recreated one of my own song covers so you get an idea as to how I record all my songs from scratch. Uh, so I'm going to leave a link to it in the description below and I hope that helps. So the next question is by Tushar. Yes, please make a video on how to blend karaoke with vocal and show us how effect will work and which effect should a beginner use. So this is a really good question. To begin with, there are certain things that you need to know when you mix your vocals and your instrumental track. If you've downloaded your instrumental track from YouTube or anywhere else and you've imported it onto the software, it'll be visibly evident that the amplitude of this track will be much higher than your vocals itself, which means that if you compare, your vocals will barely be heard with respect to this track. So the first thing you need to do is sort of reduce the amplitude of this track. For that, all you have to do is go to the effects section on this track and reduce the gain value. Gain is nothing but a measurement of the amplitude itself. So go ahead to the effects section and reduce the amplitude value. If you're recording your instrumentals using a guitar or any other instrument, I suggest you compress this track first and then reduce the gain value if required. As far as effects are concerned, I'm not someone who likes adding too many effects to my vocals. Um, however, I do like adding a soft reverb to my vocal because Entrack Studio already has an inbuilt reverb. Here's a preview of what my recording sounds like after compressing it and adding a soft reverb. <laughs> This was just to give you an idea on how you begin mixing your tracks together but I am going to make a detailed video on, on how you mix your tracks so stay tuned for that. Okay. So the next question is by Aparna, what about noise cancellation, reducing background noise such as vehicles and dog barking? Okay, for this I would highly recommend Entrack Studio's denoiser effect. It works like a charm and helps you get rid of any kind of background noise, so denoiser. Alright, so the next question is by Manish. Uh, I want to record my singing using mobile headphones mic while playing YouTube karaoke track both simultaneously. Please suggest any trick or any app where I can do so. Um, if I have your question right, you want to be able to play the instrumental track in the background and then record your vocals on the app. Uh, well, you can definitely do this, but the audio pickup of your instrumental wouldn't be as great and it would sound extremely distorted. So I would recommend uh, downloading the track first and then importing it on and then creating a new audio track and then recording your vocals over it because that way you'd have a better control on both your tracks to edit them. Alright, so the next question is by Nikhil. Uh, what if I want to connect an external condenser mic to record on my iPhone in spite of your phone? Is that possible? Yes, it is definitely possible. You can connect an external condenser mic and the audio quality will be so much better for sure. Uh, if yes, how and which mic is good as per you? Uh, I don't think I'm the right person to tell you which uh, mic is great and which isn't. I think uh, there are better experts out there on the internet where you can find this information. But what I can tell you is that three years ago I purchased this mic, uh, it's the BM800 and uh, I did end up using this on a couple of my Instagram covers. Uh, it works great, it's really easy, inexpensive. Uh, but I barely required this with the Entrack software because of the inbuilt reverb that it has. So I've never really used a mic for any of my YouTube covers as such. Okay, so the next question is, should we give money? Is it available on Android? Yes, this is a paid application. Um, this is how much it costs for the app, but I feel like this is extremely inexpensive and for the kind of features that it provides to its users, I think it's definitely worth it. Uh, and yes, this is available on both Android and iOS. So Tracy James asks all the cover songs that you've done by using this app, please let me know. Yes, all the covers that I've recorded on YouTube so far have been recorded on the Entrack software uh, without the use of any mic. Okay, so the next question is by I'm a happy person. <laughs> how to save this as an mp3 file and how to get the recorded file in iMovies, please reply. In order to save an audio track, tap on the menu icon in the bottom right corner and say save song or export. You can now change the name of your audio file I'm just going to type hello. Then choose the folder in which you'd like your audio file to be saved. Lastly, choose a suitable format for your file. 
I'm going to choose MP3 and that's it. I've also made a detailed video on the features provided by this app. So I'm going to leave a link to it in the description and uh, I hope that helps. Uh, Ayusha asks, is this only for iPhone or can we do it on Android as well? Uh, this is available on both Android and iOS and I have made two separate videos on how you can use this on iOS as well as Android. Please go check them out on my channel. The next question is by Dua Ahmad, wouldn't this app work without headphones? It would definitely work without headphones. Uh, it's just that you'll have a better quality of audio when you use your headphones rather than without. Alright, so the next question by Sridhar Acharya. Now, N Studio 8 is not in Play Store. N Studio is there. Okay, how do you use this app? So, this is something that I've been getting a lot on my video that I made three years ago. Guys, three years ago, this app was called N Track 8. Today, it's called N Track Studio and it is still available on the Play Store. Please go download it as N Track Studio, not N Track 8. Alright, so the last question is How did you add video to N Track recording? Is there a video option or are you using a separate camera? So, um, there is no video uh, editing option in the N-Track um, Studio app. It's only for your audio recordings. So you can either record your audio tracks first and then do a lip sync over the video that you want to produce or you can also shoot while you record. And as far as the video editing is concerned, you can do it on a bunch of apps right from iMovies to um, Movie Maker or, or any basic video editing app because all of them provide you with this basic feature of merging your audio and video together. Alright, so that was it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If this video was helpful, please don't forget to share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel for more such videos and I will see you next time.